welcome back to my channel. So as you would have seen from the title of today's video, we are going to be testing out or basically putting on a full face of my cheapest makeup. So let's just crack on to it. I'm going to start with my eyes first and I will put the, I, mean, I need to do some research really first to find out what's cheapest because I've got a Revolution Marvelous Matte Spray Lady Palette or a BH Cosmetics like a little minis which I think was pretty cheap when I got it as well so let me just google that people are selling this on ebay for eight pounds nine pounds if I just wouldn't pay that I think I must have only paid five four 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 or five pounds so these are definitely going to be my cheapest eyeshadow palettes so we're going to jump in and use those now I need to prime my eyelids the cheapest um concealer I actually own is from MUA. I think a lot of the stuff will be MUA or make Revolution based because obviously they're like quite like they're affordable cheap brands from the drugstore. Um, this is one of their cover and conceal concealers. I won't lie, this is probably really old but I'm still gonna go ahead and use it. Absolutely no coverage whatsoever. Like you can still see my whole eyelid. It's just cast like a very, very, very thin, um, like yellow sort of hue over my eye. It's literally not covered anything. Which is crazy to think like when they must have released that. I haven't got a clue when that was. But when they released that product and like called it cover and conceal like what are you concealing because that's not concealing anything uh, so if I sound a little bit like <coughs> gross because I mean I'm feeling just rather rubbish right now but I really fancied filming today so I just thought why the hell not also I just look like a mess and I'm hoping some makeup might make me feel a little bit better you know Right, let's jump in with these eyeshadow palettes. I think I used this in a video the other day, which makes me, which is why I want to use this, because I've never used it. I'm gonna dip between the two. This is like sort of a tutorial, but also sort of not a tutorial. So I'm gonna take the dark blue right at the bottom there. They've just got numbers, so that's done. Number 13. And I'm going to pack that on, just in the crease. I know people say like Makeup Revolution is cheap and whatnot, but it does not lack quality, let's be real. I know some shades um, and some palettes aren't always perfect, but like what brand is, um, unless you have like the budget to be perfect every single time, loads of brands have like hit and misses and I think Revolution do, but that's not a bad thing, you know? I really messily shoved that in there, so I'm going to take a fluffy brush, just this one, and take the light blue shade and start to blend this out. Oh, so tonight my um, graduation video goes up. I will have that linked below if you haven't watched it already. You know, I didn't film it on the exact day that I went to graduation, but obviously, as you can imagine, that was just not going to happen. Um, but I basically did that exact look the morning of graduation, so... Yellow? Would that be a little bit risky? Let's go with the yellow. Do I just look like I've been punched in the face? <laughs> Whereas I think I do. I'm going to make this a halo eye, so I don't think I've done one of those in a while. So I'm going to take some more dark blue. And then pat that on either side. So, on the outer and the inner corners. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand and cut the middle of my eyelid. awful cut crease in the middle there. 
I'm going to set it down with a bit of a white shade in this palette. Quite pigmented white actually. Just going with a bit of dark blue to blend the corners. I'm going to take a shimmer palette, shimmer shade from this BH Cosmetics palette considering my Revolution one is all mattes. So I'm going to take a shimmery shade from here. These are ridiculously powdery. I'm going to pop this in the centre. Right, I'm going to get some makeup wipes. And makeup wipe, clean up all this, and I will be right back. Alright, so it's not looking awful, it's just not looking the best at the same time. I'm going to actually go in with the green shade, I fancy, on the bottom that on the lower lash line. Just this green in the middle. Hmm, not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna go away to the side um, off camera and I will be right back to get on with the rest of the face with you. Let's jump into brows because I don't have that much time and I'm like taking ages. Let's jump into brows. I don't know how I feel about these eyes. You have to let me know. Um, the cheapest eyebrow products that I do own are from Makeup Revolution. I will put the prices on the screen. Eyebrow cushion or the Revolution Pro eyebrow pencil, which is pretty much dead. So I'm gonna go in with the pencil at the front because there's basically no product left. It's super warm, this shade, like quite a bit too warm for me. And believe it or not, I've hardly used this pencil, but every single time I would, it would snap off. I don't know if anybody else has had the same issue, but I don't know what it is with this pencil. It just snapped off every single time I used it. So, I mean, I've hardly used it. I've basically just thrown it in the bin. I'm going to try this brow cushion. This is like a dupe for the Iconic London brow cushion. So, I'm going to see what I can do. This is in the shade Toast, I believe. I've actually recently dyed my eyebrows and I do my lashes so if you want to know how I do that at home then give this video a thumbs up or let me know down below that's gone, quite, that's gone on quite nicely though I don't have a brow gel though unfortunately which is really sad like I've not tried <coughs> a cheapy eyebrow gel which sounds bad um, because I've just basically had a gimme brow but let me know if you do like any specific um, brow gels perhaps from Primark or Make Revolution let me know what you're thinking about brow gel mm. I'm gonna pop on this mascara now this is from Primark is the cheapest one that I own. This is called the PS Lash 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 yeah Lash Contour. Is that I really actually do like this mascara, and the thing it's good about it, it's got one side's flat like this, this is the flat side, so you can really get like deep in the mid into your um into your lash line, and then this side is sort of like curved and like curled, so it helps to really curl um, and lift the lashes which I really really like but let's move on to the face so for um, primer oh my God, I think the cheapest one that I own is the MUA Pro Base Smooth Set and Prime Blur Stick which is a good job because I freaking love this stuff it's basically like a giant stick of benefit for professional if you've not already heard me say that before <laughs> that's literally what it reminds me of just a huge stick of it on to foundation this is something else I'm gonna have to google quickly hey Siri how much how much is the miss sporty really me foundation stick this is in the shade 003. They only have four shades of this, which is horrific, like, horrific. My other cheapest foundation is the Revolution 
um, concealing define. So I feel like I should just use this and probably just chuck this away because I've had it probably quite a while. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. Yeah, really nice concealer foundation, and that went really, really nicely on top of the um, makeup stick, which I can appreciate. I've got to go in with this now, though, which kind of really sucks. The MUA no cover and won't conceal concealer. That's so funny. I wonder if I leave it for a little bit, if it will gain any any coverage. I'll cream contour in the meantime. This is the. Yes. I don't know. Oh, it's a concealer, but I bought it in a darker shade so I could use it for contour. Top tip. I think concealers actually work better for contour than actual contour products, do you know what I mean? Or like, the majority of my cream contour products and sticks are actually concealers. They're not primarily, um... Okay, no, that's looking like it's drying on my face. Fuck it is. Ah. Uh, oh my god. That was properly dried. On my skin. Awful. Honestly, what a horrible product. Why do I even have it? Why did I even buy it? I mean, I know MUA have come a long way though since they created those like products, so I'm not gonna. It's nothing against the brand, obviously. I haven't tried any actual cream like cream products from MUA in quite a while, so that would be nice to sort of test out. So give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see a testing MUA sort of video, because I'd be definitely down for doing that. I don't know what it is. I just feel like quite ill at the moment. I think everything's like catching up to me, the graduate, like graduation was a lot, I've had some family things going on in my personal life, I think everything's just sort of like catching up to me, if you know what I mean, we've all been there, I'm sure. Moving on to powder, I've got the PS My Perfect Colour Loose Mineral Powder, which was £2 from Primark, and I've also got the MUA skin define matte loose powder so i'm going to ask siri hi siri how much is the mua skin define matte perfect loose powder three pounds that one bargain however and it's got five stars online go on mua however that does mean i will be using the, the um ps one because that was cheaper They've both got awful packaging, basically like no cap or anything on the holes and the inside so all the powder can just fall out and go absolutely everywhere, which is really, really irritating. It just makes it so dirty, like everything gets everywhere. But I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to set my under eyes. I've basically, recent, well, I've recently been going in with this look good, feel better tapered blending brush just to set my under eyes because I don't want anything too much underneath there, so I find a beauty blender and like baking and that sort of thing quite heavy for my under eyes, so recently I've just been doing this and it sets it really, really nicely. <coughs> Gone everywhere. I mean, considering this powder is literally full, I think shows that I've not really used it and therefore it's probably not a best. So moving on to the face products, we need some bronzer and some contour. I'm going to take the MUA bronzed matte bronzing powder in the shade Solar, which I think I got in my Superdrug haul, if you didn't see I will link it above. This is brand new, I've not yet used it, so let's see what this baby can do. Oh, okay, hello. You are pigmented quite a bit pigmented and quite a bit red as well which I'm not mad at because I don't I quite like red toned bronzers but if you don't you don't like this <laughs> oh 
100% bronzy. You do not need a lot of that, let me tell you. I quite like NEA bronzers. I think I've tried quite a few of them. And I do quite like them, so... So far, if anything, I would definitely say the bronzers are a good shout. Oh, this is what I'm excited to try, actually. I picked this up this morning in Poundland. This is the MUA Luxe Globally... Go... Sorry. Glow Beam Highlighting Powder in Gold. And it has this really cool, like... I've already opened it, which is why it's so messy. It has this really cool bit in the inside, if I can try and show you. You twist it, and it sort of gets all the product up. Through those tiny little holes. Which I think is kind of cool, but also this is so messy now that I've opened it. So... Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't really do much now I've opened it. There's just product everywhere. I'm dipping into the powder. It looks quite, like, chunky, but it's loose, so that might be why. Right. Holy mother of highlighters. Did we see that? Because I don't need any more. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do because I've got just so much highlighter on it's because obviously this is loose it's going everywhere like it's just not going oh wow wow because i got it obviously for a pound in pound land i can't imagine it's very much from from super Drug, if they still sell it there 100 percent. you need to try that out if you have not already so let's pop a little bit of blusher on and the cheapest one that i own is from primer it's the ps blush High pigment blusher in a more, and this was one pound fifty. <clears throat> Just like to use a little angled brush. That's nice. We have back for this video actually quite quickly. Um, next thing that I need to try is lipstick and actually this is probably one of my favorite lipstick combos that i use at the moment this is the pure ps pure gloss lipstick just looks like this so it's a bit battered also smells so good it smells like sweets <laughs> and to top that off i'm going to use the ps beauty Universal Lip Luminizer. I used this in a video the other day and I swear this is like a Fenty gloss bomb dupe. Do you know what I mean? Definitely reminds me of that anyway. So I'm going to go ahead off camera, sort myself out, sort my hair out, and just pop another nicer uh, top on, <laughs> and we will get back to talking about the products that I've just used. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I only thought it was appropriate to put on something blue, so we were all match so I was sort of matchy matchy. Um, yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. Let me know what you thought about it down below. Let me know what you think of the look that I managed to create. So all in all, let's go through the products. The eyeshadow palettes, I think these these little revolution palettes are 100 percent worth it. I think they're about four pounds. And the amount of shades that you get and the pigmentation, the quality is just absolutely mind-blowing so definitely give these a go if you haven't already as for the bh cosmetics one honestly i only tried two shades but they just weren't they're not that jaw dropping the pan's are absolutely tiny look at the difference the pan's are absolutely tiny i just don't really think that one's worth it to be honest super super powdery um pans as well i probably wouldn't bother with that one I think revolution all the way and obviously it's a hell of a lot more accessible in super drug so get yourselves to super drug yeah, the foundation is definitely definitely worth it um i think i did a review of this so i will see if i can find it and link it i honestly really enjoy this foundation it does get a little bit cakey on me but i think it depends on the sort of powders that i'm using the concealer that i'm using and the primer that i'm using so sort of take my reviews with a pinch of salt but i think this is really good foundation and i know that a lot of people do enjoy this anyway pro base i love 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 Nothing else to say, but I love it. I want to try the other ones that they've got. I know they've got a few other variations of this Pro Base, so I definitely want to give those a go. The Anyway Bronzer and PS Blusher, I really like. So you see the highlighter, you know my thoughts on that. That worked insanely well, and if you can get this in Poundland, why would you sleep on it? That's what I'm going to say. I don't like either of these powders. 
Um, I didn't use this one in the video, but I have used this before, and considering it's full, they're both full, I just don't like them. There's something about them, they're just quite thick, even though they're loose powders, they're quite heavy, they're drying. This has got good reviews online though, so maybe it depends on your skin type, but for me personally, I don't really like them that much, either of them, to be honest. The lips, if you can pick these up, like I know Primark Switch and Change absolutely everything all the time, so you might not be able to find these anymore. Um, but I love this pure um, lip gloss and I love this lip um, luminizer. I feel like both of these are supposed to be dupes of Fenty, aren't they? Fenty did this sort of hexagon shaped packaging, didn't they? And then obviously their gloss bomb is quite similar, no? Mm. The brow cushion wasn't awful, to be honest. I think it looks quite nice. Um, I just prefer brow pencil, it's easier and I'm more precise. So that's sort of each to your own. Okay. This, you got it in a bit. <laughs> so that wraps up today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the sort of bluey, green, yellow, man I meet, man, man I meet, man lady look we've got going on. I think it's kind of cute. Let me know what you think down. Let me know what you think down below, guys. Um, I hope you are all well. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Like you can the big red button below we're at 90 subscribers which is kind of mad it's not loads don't get me wrong but it's quite a lot for me little old me you know so let's see if we can get to 100 and i will do a giveaway yay exciting so stay tuned for that click subscribe if you haven't already um but yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you see you in my next video